Now I've just picked up this brand new Digger 2 Caravan by Kokoda Caravans and uh, taking it off out into the bush to have a closer look to see what this caravan offers. Now it weighs 2,180 kilograms at tear and it has an ATM of 2,800 kilograms. So that's a really decent payload capacity of 620 kilos. So for a single axle caravan in particular, that's fantastic. It rides on tough ride independent coil suspension and it uses a DO35 coupling. And that's probably one of my favorite couplings for off-road caravans. I just find that it's nice and easy. Now, in terms of how this caravan tows, look, really no problems whatsoever. I'm not using any load leveling equipment or anything like that. Uh, it's just literally straight on the tow bar. We are apparently coming in for some nasty weather later. So we'll see how we go. Well, as I said, this caravan has towed really, really well. And here we are out in the bush. It's an absolutely miserable day. So I'm glad that I've got the uh, warm caravan to retreat to. As I mentioned, it's the Digger 2 by Kokoda Caravans. And uh, I reckon we just step inside and we see what this caravan's all about. Now there's a slide out kitchen inside this boot. So let's open it up. And it is that premium Dometic unit. Can you just imagine being out in the bush, cooking up a storm for the family on this unit? And you've got your gas bayonets right here, so you can plug directly into the uh, gas supply of the caravan. And of course, you've got a hot and cold water tap as well. And as we can see, we have a large checker plate storage box on the A-frame. So open it up. Nice slide out tray that's going to suit a portable fridge. You get an 80 litre unit on there for sure. And on the other side, there will be another slide out tray, I'm willing to bet. And here we go. That's another large slide out tray. That's a really good storage solution. And here we'll have uh, more storage on the other side of the kitchen. And we do. Yeah, that's fantastic. Some of the external features. Well, you've got a manual rollout awning, a fold out picnic table. You've got your spare wheel mounted to the bumper, a couple of jerry can holders, some speakers and much more. Now that checker plate protection extends 900 mil up the front of the caravan, 500 mil on the sides and 700 mils up the back of the caravan. And being an off-road caravan, I'm pleased to see they've fitted a stone mesh guard on the A-frame. Well, this caravan clearly has a lot of wow factor. Now, in this particular Kokoda Digger 2, the layout is, you know, it's fairly conventional. You've got the queen size bed at the front, you've got a rather spacious bathroom at the back and everything else in between. But for me, this particular layout works really well for couples touring. Now, speaking of the bathroom, there's a really large linen cover in that rear offside corner. I think that's fantastic. It's a good use of space. Now, this caravan comes with two 100 amp hour deep cycle batteries and there's two 170 watt solar panels mounted to the roof. So that's a fairly reasonable sort of 12 volt system. And you might even notice that all the locker doors are on piano hinges, which for me is one of the strongest ways that you can secure a covered door in a caravan. Meanwhile, over here on the near side, they're fitted a Thetford four burner cooktop with griller. Now they haven't fitted an oven to this particular caravan, but I don't mind that, especially when you've got that optional kitchen on the outside of the caravan, because that actually allows you to have more storage. And that's what they've done here, a nice large pot drawer. I think the proportions inside this caravan are quite good. This um, near side kitchen, look, there's not a great deal of bench space, obviously, but there are numerous storage options. Take, for example, this pantry. That's good for all your canned goods, your tomato sauce and that sort of thing. And another little space saver is this trifold table right here. And I do appreciate the fact that Kokoda has not neglected some 12 volt charging points as well as your 240 volt point here. So you can you know, play with your devices while they're being charged up at the same time. Now the Digger 2 does well in terms of fresh water storage. In fact, you've got two 95 litre water tanks protected by some galvanized sheeting underneath the van. It's also a portable gray water tank as well. And let's not forget the two Sirocco fans pointing towards the bed, just perfect for when you're up north or you just need a bit of breeze to come through the van. Now, Kokoda uses Moranti timber for the framing material, and that's clad with composite aluminium as well as some black checker plate. And that's all built upon a six inch chassis. It's a time honored construction method, and it's really done well in this caravan. Among the other features, you've got a 28 litre gas electric hot water service, that 2.5 kilo top loading washing machine. You've got reading lights in the bedroom and each niche has its own 12 volt and 240 volt power point. A 24 inch flat screen TV is included along with the mounting bracket. And I really like that fully molded fiberglass shower cubicle. Fully molded, well, that just means it's really never going to leak. Well, there you go. That is the Digger 2 by Kokoda Caravans. Now, this 18 foot 7 inch caravan is built for full off-road conditions. And as we can see, it is well set up for couples touring.